Hello everybody and welcome back to another math learning video. Today I brought you guys this problem here. We have that A times B is equal to 100, B times C is equal to 200, and C times A is equal to 300. And what we want to find out is what is A plus B plus C, okay? So let's go ahead and solve this problem. So first thing that I'm going to do that I want to do is solve for a specific variable, okay? So how am I going to do that? Well, we know that a, a, B is equal to 100 and B, C is equal to 200, right? So this must mean that A, B plus B, C is equal to 300, right? Because 100 plus 200 equals 300. So now, in this equation, A, B plus B, C equals 300, we can factor out the B from these two terms to get that B times a plus C is equal to 300. All right, and now if we divide both sides by A plus C, we get that B is equal to 300 over A plus C. So now we have a sort of variable for B, and I'm going to plug this in into an equation that has b, so a times b is equal to 100. So now we have that a times 300 over a plus c, because this is our new value for b, is equal to 100, okay? So now I'm going to distribute this, a, so 300a is equal to a plus c, equal to 100, multiply a plus C to get it out of the denominator. And then we get 300A is equal to 100 A plus C. So here we're multiplying by A plus C. And I'm already, I'm just going to distribute 100 to both of these terms. So this will be 100A plus 100 C. Okay. So now, I will subtract 100a from here to get that 200a is equal to 100c. And now I'm going to get c by itself. So I'm going to divide by 100. And now I get that c is equal to 2a. Okay, so now I got that c is equal to 2a, so I got that c is equal to just a single variable now. And now I'm going to plug this c 2a into where we have a c and a. So we have a c in this equation and an a here. So I'm going to plug in c for the equation c a is equal to 300. But instead of putting c, obviously I'm going to put 2a. 2a times a is equal to 300. So that means that we have 2a squared, right? a times a, a squared is equal to 300 divided by 2. a squared is equal to 150. And now we just square root it. So we got that a is square root of 150, okay? So now we got a is equal to square root of 150, but we can simplify this square root because is there any factors of 150 that is a square, a perfect square. Yes, there is. And in fact, that number is 25. So a, uh, so 150 is equal to 25 times six, right? So this is equal to square root of 25 times square root of six. So the a is equal to square root of 25 is five times square root of six. Okay, so this is our a value. Let me write it over here. So now that we know our a value, we can use it for both equations that need it. We can use it for both equations that have it in order to find our b and our c. So a times b is 100. 5 times square root of 6 times b is equal to 100. So first to make this easier, I'm going to divide by 5. So then square root of 6 
v is equal to 20 and then divide by square root of 6 so b is equal to 20 over square root of 6 but remember it's kind of unprofessional to have a square root at the bottom of your denominator so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just multiply by square root of 6 over square root of 6 because this is the same thing as 1 right what i'm going to do is to give us a a nice number on the denominator okay to make it look better so this will be this square root of 6 and this square root of 6 no so this will give us square root of 6 times square root of 6 is equal to 6 and then 20 times square root of 6 okay so this is remember this is just done because for some for some reason it's more professional to do it this way okay so our b value we found is equal to 20 square root of 6 over 6 and now our c value we can find that by doing using the third equation or the second one if you want i'm using third because i like the a value more so this is c times 5 over square root of 6 is equal to 300 so once again i'll divide by 5 first so 300 divided by 5 is equal to 60 right because 6 times 5 is 30 so 60 times 5 is 300 and then divided by 6 uh, divided by square root of 6, 6 excuse me 60 over square root of 6 and now i'm going to rationalize the denominator again so I just multiply the square root of 6 to get a whole number in the bottom. Or not a whole number but per se, but not a square root. And then that will give us 60 square root of 6 over 6. And then we can actually cancel out numerator denominator here since 6 is a factor of 60, right? So this becomes 1 and this becomes 10 because 60 divided by 6 is equal to 10. So then our C value is 10 times square root of 6, okay? And times square root of 6. Okay. So now we got our three values. And now what we have to do is add them together. So our A value. 5 times square root of 6. Plus our B. 20 over 6. 20 times square root of 6. Over 6. And then plus 10 square root of 6. So, I don't know if you noticed, but each of these terms have a, has a square root of 6 in them, right? So, what we can do is we can factor out the values from the square root of 6. So, if we take out the square root of 6, we are left with, in each equation, 5 plus 20 over 6 plus 10, right? And I just noticed, realized now that 20 over 6 can actually be simplified because both of them are multiples of 2. So if you divide both by 2, 20 by, divided by 2 is 10, two divide, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So this becomes 10 over 3. Okay, so now it's comes square root of 6 times, let's simplify more, 10 plus 5 is 15 plus 10 over 3. And now we need to find a common denominator, right? So to find the common denominator, we need to multiply our 15, because we want to add this to the fraction, right? To simplify it fully. So what we're going to do is we are going to multiply this 15. Let me make some space here. We're going to multiply this 15 by 3 over 3, because we want 3 in the denominator. So this is equal to square root of 6. 3 times 15 is equal to 45. So this is 45 over 3 plus 10 over 3. And 45 plus 10 is equal to 55 over 3. So this gives our final answer. If we multiply the square root of 6 on top, 55 square root of 6 over 3 and now it's important to note that square root right whenever you square the answer can be positive or negative so since we're multiplying by this square root this answer will either be positive or negative so there are two answers positive and negative 55 
times square root of 6 over 3. And that is our final answer, okay? So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. Bye!